guys, those little bit of few clips you just saw where the sundress bathing suit cover-up thing I found at Goodwill yesterday. I, of course, took it home and washed it. And as you can see, I turned it into a skirt. And I think for me, it makes a much cuter skirt. Um, I also found two white twin size fitted sheets, brand new, still in the package, which I disassembled this morning after washing them yesterday. And they're now back in my fabric stash because I'm low and or out of muslin or good mock-up fabric. Um, so I'll use those. Um, I have some fabric bags sheets come in. The blue one's actually for my dad. He just got himself some new sheets. He's like, give this to Gina, he said to my sister. I know she'll use it for something. <laughs> so anyway, he's not wrong. Um, anyway, I was pulling out some fabrics for my next um, round of projects. I'm just having fun with sewing, although I am going to get back to painting tomorrow. And I do have a couple of painting mixed media videos I need to film. But anyway, um, a while back, my friend Laura... Uh, in Canada sent me a bunch of these kind of scarves. Now this might not be enough and I might need to thrift some more, but when I was looking for a pattern for something else, I forgot I had this one. I've never made it. It's brand new, still in the package. Laura, guess what your scarves are gonna turn into? Um, and you know, I think that black skirt would look nice with them. Anyway, um, I also have this 19, is this from the 70s? Does it even say? It looks like a 1970s era uh, pattern. It's a wrap dress apron sort of thing. Um, I wouldn't wear it as a dress because uh, I'm going to be 60 and yeah, just trust me when I say I need to wear a bra. Um, but it would be a cute apron. I might even modify it so it's not a neck, a tie neck, but it, you'll see when I do it. I have this fabric I thrifted a long time ago. I sold off some of it because it was a gigantic piece, but I saved enough of it to do this pattern. Um, it took me a few minutes to find the pattern because, of course, I put it away in a safe place. Anyway, so there's my next two sewing projects ready to go. Anyway, other than that, Bob and I have done a whole lot, hot lot of nothing today. It is after lunch. I need to go eat something and take my supplements. My alarm thing has already gone off. So I need to go do that after I do a little cleaning. But that skirt is so cute. Anyway, all right, that's it for the minute. I'll be back. Say good morning, only it's 3.42 p.m. Oops. Uh, it's Monday, March 20th, by the way. I spent the morning video editing, doing some writing uh, of my social media posts and getting those all loaded and scheduled. I was finally able to turn the computer off, yay. But of course I've got the phone on, I've got the tablet on. <sighs> kind of defeats the purpose, doesn't it? Anyway, tomorrow is gonna be a filming day. I need to film a couple of different things and I need to then later on in the week get those edited um but I'm gonna do that tomorrow I'm not gonna push myself I have to go I have to go downstairs I've got to make the bed I know right I did laundry and all that stuff anyway what are you gonna do chores got to get them sometime I'll be back Good morning, everybody. I am whoop, listening to one of my favorite YouTube channels and I am sorting through and refilling my daily drying collage bag because it is way past time. And although there's still quite a bit in it, 
um, the selection's getting thin and I need to spruce it up a little bit. So I'm going to pick through some collage bits that were in my art journaling cart because I like to start with emptying that cart before I go into a drawer. But I also have like a pile of collage stuff. I haven't opened, I bet you it's been a year. Yeah. So I'm going to put some of this into the bag. I also see a couple bits on top that I think I maybe want to use in one of my art journals. So I'm going to pull them out and set them aside. So first thing today, we're going to work on that. I will say it's already almost lunchtime and I've just had a slow start to the day. I'm not mad about it, but you know. All right. Let's see what we can do. I'll be back. Okay, guys. I got the next episode of the Artsy Trio filmed. Camera's out. Um, it's going to stay out for a little bit because I think tomorrow I'm also going to film the next installment of Fixing the Flow. Um, I, of course, as I said earlier, have some sewing projects lined up. I did add a third one. I know. I also took out my husband's soldering iron and some more of my leather scraps and made some more of the water lily or lotus patches like the one I put on the dress that I made. Um, it's not as easy as you think watching Ella, Har Ella Harp do it. It's not that easy. Anyway, um, Bob is finishing up his work day, I think, and he, sometime between now and six. And then after that, we're going to go for a walk. Yeah. So anyway, I'm trying to control my snacking. That's the thing, drinking lots of bone broth today and for the next few days. I'm also trying to make another lake pigment with some tea. You wouldn't know it by looking at it, but it was red. It's not red anymore. Will it turn red? Will it do anything? Will I able to get paid? I don't know. So we're going to just leave it sit for a few days. It's got all the things in it. It's doing its thing that it's supposed to do. I've got videos on this if you want to see, and there's lots of information on how to make lake pigments on the internet. Anyway, I think I'm going to wrap things up up here and go downstairs, I think. I'll be back. We're out for a walk. Bob got out of his meeting. It's bright and sunny out. It's in the mid-50s. I don't have a coat on because, you know... It's a little chilly right now, but just give me a couple blocks. I'll be hot. Okay. Bob's freezing, yeah. Anyway, we're gonna go get some steps in and then have dinner. I'll be we back. We are out in the car this morning. It's 10.37 a.m. I just got done at the office supply store. Since when did printer paper go up so much in price? Holy cow. And then I had to make some photocopies because despite the increase in cost, on everything, including copying, um, it's still cheaper to print things at a copy machine than to print it at home when you have a significant amount of things to print, which when you're downloading indie patterns, online patterns, free patterns, Etsy store patterns, like it's still cheaper to like go print them here anyway. And unfortunately I had more than one I got them all printed, well, except one. It seems like um, my flash drive wasn't being read by the printer, so the girl transferred my files to one of their flash drives, but the pattern pieces for that pattern weren't on the flash drive. I don't know. It's just one, so I'll print that one at home. And it's an easy one, so it shouldn't be too many pages. Anyway, I'm gonna stop at TJ Maxx, then we're gonna go check the peel box and go to Goodwill. So I'm looking for something in particular to upcycle into clothing. So anyway, let's go get it done. I'll be My back. My errand's done this morning and I stopped by TJ Maxx and Goodwill. I found nothing at TJ Maxx, but I found three pieces of clothing at Goodwill that I can upcycle. Um, one of which is gonna be used for the waistband on this pair of pants with this fabric. I know it's a little crazy, but I mean, why not? Anyway, and I got done reorganizing my sewing patterns because now that I'm sewing again, 
that was pastime and the little ones from next door just came over well one of them and then she left her water glass here see the little pink right there um she went home to go get her sister so <laughs> i don't know anyway i've been running up and down the stairs now i'm hot okay and the lake pigment is i don't know if it's doing I'll leave it sit for another day or two and then we'll find out. I'll be back. It's 2 13 p.m. on Thursday, March 23rd. I am editing, currently editing video for Artsy Trio 19, and I also have Fixing the Flow Part 4 um, that I need to edit. I have a five o'clock appointment with the kids to go out food shopping for adopted daughter Jenny's birthday dinner, which is tomorrow. You know, why do I have this feeling my desk is like falling apart? Anyway, um, so um, I'm going to go do that. And um, I sorted out the purge stuff from the Fixing the Flow Part 4 last night after I finished filming. And I have three purge boxes that I'm going to be selling. Um, and I will put how many are available um, in the video description when the video comes out. At the moment, I have two. Um, one is spoken for and, um, they're mostly collage material and rubber stamps. So you'll have to wait and see with the video. You'll have to see, cause that's all I'm going to say. Anyway, um, one is spoken for. If you'd like one, let me know, message me. All right. I'm going to finish filming to see why my desk chair leg looked like it was loose and I'll be back. Hey everybody, it is a rainy slash snowy day in Oregon. Welcome to the land of much water. Anyway, um, it's about 20 before 10. I'm headed, and that's the windshield wiper. Sorry, it is raining. Um, I'm headed over to the store really quick. We're having a family dinner tonight. It's Friday, March 24th, I think. Um, Adopted daughter Jenny's birthday is tomorrow, so we're doing a bunch of stuff with her today, including dinner. I have to go pick up a couple things at the store. So I'm gonna go do that this morning and get that over with. I got a lot done yesterday, um, including editing and loading the videos that I filmed earlier in the week and listing a bunch of artwork on Facebook Marketplace. I'm trying to move away from Etsy. At the same time, I need to still sell things and I need to still make some income. So um, if you go to my Facebook group, A Life of Arts Self-Expression, or if you're friends with me on Facebook and my personal page, um, you can see the listings there to Marketplace. I've shared them in both places. And um, if you want some artwork for your house, take a look. There's a lot up there. I, I, I was surprised I actually got that done. I'm not going to do any more um, right now unless this goes well and things sell quickly so we'll see um but yeah yesterday was a pretty productive day today has a lot going on but mostly we're just going to be hanging out with um jenny and by we i mean me and my daughter rebecca um the three girls are going to go get pedicures and that sort of thing maybe take her out shopping and then my dad is going to come down from Washington State and he's going to have dinner with us and we're going to celebrate Jenny's birthday and all that stuff. But I have to get a birthday card. I haven't done that yet. So it's one of the errands I'm going to do this morning. All right. Lots of speed bumps. All right. Let's get it done. I'll be back. It is just about 9.30, Saturday, March 25th. Again, sorry about the lighting, but we are in front of the window. It snowed last night. <laughs> Can you see that white, those white? Yeah, that's snow. Anyway, spring, really. <laughs> um, it is adopted daughter Jenny's birthday, so happy birthday, Jenny. Um, we're going to be running some errands this afternoon, including dropping off a box 
um, to USPS. Wendy, your box will be on the way at some point today. Um, we have to do a porch pickup with someone who's going to give me some photo boards, self-adhesive photo mounting boards, um, who also happens to be a YouTube fan. So hello, Valor Valerie. Um, what else? Um, we're going to just run some errands. We're still recovering from, they're really good, but very filling Korean barbecue family dinner last night. Oh my God, I'm still full. I've had coffee, but no breakfast. I'm just stuffed. Hazel, AKA our robot vacuum is downstairs um, doing the floors. I'm up here, of course. I'm gonna be sipping on some water this morning and watching some YouTube and just relaxing. Bob had to go out and do help with one chore over at the Masonic Lodge, so he's doing that. When he comes back, then we'll go um, run our errands. And yes, we us girls got our nails painted last night, so my fingernails and toes are black, black, yay. All right. That's it for the minute. I'll be back. I framed a few more watercolors that I think I want to hang on to for the moment. So now I have to find some place to hang them. Um, I also got a new dress form. She came in and I have found this double XL little sundress uh, while thrifting recently. Um, and um, it's like four sizes too big for me, but um, I have adjusted the dress form to my size and I've done some pinning to try to figure out what I do I'm doing with it. And I do think I'm going to make it into two pieces, a top and a skirt or a top and a pair of pants. There's plenty of fabric. So anyway, I've been working on that. Um, we're still really full and exhausted from the birthday celebrations last night. In fact, Mr. Bob is sleeping in his chair. Anyway, um, we got errands done. I picked up some faux picture boards. They're big, they're huge. Um, 10 by 12 maybe in the Hold back. On. And I guess you photographers out there will know, um, you know, sometimes when you're doing photo work for clients, they would print a large copy of a photo. These are self-adhesive. So then you stick the photo to the board and then it, the board has um, slots on the back. You can hang it on the wall. I'm actually thinking about covering the front of these with watercolor paper and doing some very large abstracts. What do you all think? Would you buy one if I did that? Question? I still have to do dishes from last night. I haven't, oh, my hair is just a mess. Um, I don't have my coat on anymore, but I did have a cute little outfit on this morning. Um, this is one of my, it's actually a little bit big on me, but it's like a peasant blouse style thing. Anyway, it doesn't matter that it's too big. It's a thin material, it's very drapey. It's cute. Anyway, I also got a giant pair of blue jeans. Ah, there they are. Over here, they're huge. Yesterday, these for $7 and change. I'm going, and when I was thrifting, and I'm gonna cut them up and we're gonna, I'm gonna make a hip pocket. I have one already in green that I bought. I'm going to, See if I can make one like it for the times when I don't have outfits with pockets because I haven't carried a handbag since COVID started. So, um, yeah. Anyway, it's been a day. I'm going to finish watching Station 19 and then we'll see what we get up to. I don't know. I'll be back. So it is Sunday afternoon. I can't even say it's Sunday morning. I forgot to close the vlog yesterday. Oops. I don't have a good excuse except it's a nice quiet weekend and Bob and I are kind of enjoying having a quiet weekend before grandson gets here. And yeah, no other good excuse. Well, it's been busy over the last couple of weekends anyway. Yeah, we've it, the last couple of weekends have been really busy and after the Korean barbecue for Jenny's birthday, Friday night, which was great, by the way, we were so full, we barely ate yesterday. I mean, I'm still kind of full. So anyway, we hope you've all had a great week, that you have enjoyed the peaceful times along with the busy, crazy times. And uh, 
If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, leave them down below. If you want to support the free content, I do have a Patreon. I am going to be slowly shutting down Etsy. It's just not doing much. Um, but I do have some artwork for sale in Facebook Marketplace. If you search Marketplace for my name, you'll find it. And I do have Patreon. They have access, ready access to me through a Facebook chat and they have their own private YouTube channel. So anyway, links are all down in the video description. I'll see you next week. Don't forget to go out and do something nice for yourself because you deserve it. I need to catch my breath. See you next week.